Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us discuss an important and interesting concept: short-run equilibrium of monopoly firm with the help of a simple case of zero cost. Let us assume that there is a village which is located or situated sufficiently far away from other villages. In this village. there exist only one well from which water is available all the residents are completely dependent for their water requirements on this well the well is owned by one person we are talking about monopoly so the owner of that well is one person who can prevent others from drawing the water from it except through purchase so they can take out water from the well only on payment the persons who are purchases the water must draw the water out of the well the well owner is thus a monopolist firm which pays zero cost in producing the gold we shall analyze the simple case of monopolist being zero cost to determine the amount of water sold and the price at which it is sold as a monopolist he try to maximize his profit when the cost of production is zero now at what price and what quantity is going to sell in order to maximize his profit can be understood with the help of a table and diagram let us discuss this dear students let us assume the demand equation for water in that village is given that is q equals 20 minus 2p you can see here Q equals 20 minus 2p. That can be rewritten as 2p equals 20 minus q. Again, you can rewrite p equals 20 minus q divided by 2. You can divide by 2. When you divide 20 minus q by 2, you'll get p equals 10 minus 0. Point q. while you are substituting quantity different level of quantity to determine the price easily you can determine the price of the product let us assume that the quantity will be 0 10 minus 0.5 into 0 this is equals 10 minus 0.5 into 0 of course that is 0 so 10 minus 0 is 10 see here the price is 10 in similar manner you can substitute different quantities let us substitute now 10 minus 0.5 into 4 let us substitute 4 so this is equals 10 minus 0.5 into 4 you will get it a 2 so 10 minus 2 is nothing but a 8 what is the price 8 you can sell 4 units of water at 8 rupees when you lower the price 7 rupees the quantity demanded will increase that is 6 if you charge 5 rupees quantity demanded is 10 if you charge 3.5 rupees quantity demanded is 13 so there is a inverse relationship between the price and quantity demand a monopolist can sell more quantity at a lower price this already we have discussed monopoly and monopoly and demand curve because monopolist will have downward sloping demand curve if he is able if he is going to charge a lower price he is able to buy a sell more quantity that is what uh, the demand curve shows but here in the zero cost theory the profit can be maximized when total revenue is maximum we know that profit is equal to tr minus tc but we know this tc is zero so when profit will be maximum when tr is maximum 
so in this table you can observe where total revenue is maximum just keep on observing the concepts according to the rows and columns here the quantity is given and here you can see the price p into q will get a total revenue observe this total revenue where the total revenue is maximum so maximum total revenue is 50 so a monopolist has to fix 5 rupees at 5 rupees consumers are ready to buy 10 units of output when he fix a 5 rupees and he is able to sell 10 units then the total revenue is maximum and when the cost of production is zero the profit will be maximum when tr is maximum if he is going to reduce the price no doubt the quantity demand will increase but there is no use if we reduce less than the 5 rupees because less than 5 rupees any price it may be 4.5 4 or 3.5 the total revenue is keep on decreasing so which is the profit maximizing price that is 5 rupees and the profit maximizing quantity is 10 units and at the same time when total revenue is maximum usually marginal revenue will be zero or near to zero at that level the firm is able to maximize its profit dear students let us understand short run equilibrium of a monopoly firm with the help of a diagram in case of zero cost on x-axis output is measured on y-axis average revenue marginal revenue total revenue and profits are measured you can observe tr is the total revenue mr is the marginal revenue average revenue ar which is also known as demand curve when perform is going to maximize its profit when total revenue is maximum where total revenue is maximum at point a you can see the total revenue is maximum from this point from the point a if you draw a line vertical line towards the x axis you can identify the quantity which is equal to 10 units according to our example and total revenue that is 50 as we discussed in the previous table and this vertical line cuts ar at this point you can see by extending this line towards the y axis by extending the line towards the y axis you can determine the price of the product a monopoly firm can sell 10 units of output at rupees 5 so total revenue is equal to p into q what is the price that he is going to charge 5 rupees and what is the quantity 10 so total revenue is equal to 50 for zero cost producing firms the quantity is determined at that level where total revenue is maximum how you are going to determine the price total revenue is 50 divided by the quantity is 10 so 10 50 divided by 10 you will get a 5 so the monopoly firm is going to fix the 5 rupees and at 5 rupees consumers are ready to buy 10 units of output at 10 units of output monopoly firm is going to maximize its total revenue dear students it is important for six marks and you can make use of this notes and explanation to the diagram is given here it is very very important for examination point of view Dear students, if you like, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.